Alright, grade 9, so we're starting with module 5, uh, basically looking at 2D drawings. Um, we, we are going to be going through a number of activities. Let's look at activity 1, and you will find here on the side the instructions that you have to this 3D, which you want to pull now into a orthographic drawing, and an orthographic drawing is a 2D drawing, and then they want you to draw the front view as seen from the arrow so this is the arrow, this is where you stand you are going to be looking at all the surfaces facing the arrow which would be those ones, this one here and that one over there, that's going to be your front and then I'm going to move to my top here where I'm going to do my top view and this surface here and that surface there will feature in my top and then I will have a left side view which is going to be on my left hand side here this all shape here of the component which must be drawn as my left side view just keep in mind that um, corners which cannot be seen from the side must be drawn in dash format so let's look at the first activity and I'm literally going to take you through this um, by explaining everything as it unfolds so what you have is the different planes a vertical plane and a horizontal plane and the purpose of that plane or those planes would be to separate the different views so in this space over here we are going to have the front view drawn here the top view will be separated by that line which will be over here that is a no man's land where no drawings will be taking place we'll draw a 45 degree line here and this all shape left side view will be drawn here on your left now to be able to create the spaces between the different views I'm going to ask you to take your compass first and to create a radius of 10 millimeters so that is 10 millimeters you don't have to be very specific about that I'm going to place it in my center there and then I'm going to draw a circle uh, because it's very small it's going to be a little bit challenging for me to draw that so I'm going to draw that circle right there perfectly like that there and then that circle can be faked and then I'm going to draw some lines firstly I'm going to draw a double line that's touching my circumference of my circle top and bottom and then learn this I'm going to use this set square which is 45 degree set square and my T square and I'm going to draw another set of lines which would be vert uh, vertical lines like that there and like that there and then this is the space that I'm creating between my views and in this block over here I'm going to keep my set square like that alternatively I can keep it like that doesn't really matter from the center I'm going to draw a 45 degree line now you've set up remember from here 45 now you've set up the drawing this space here is going to be where my front view is going to be and I need to show you when I talk about my front view I'm going to talk about that there this here and that over there now if I look at that from my arrow I will find that there's a height of 70 and there is a length of 60 so from this specific point there take note a height 70 down so I'm going to take my set square or my measuring rule and I'm going to have 70 from there measured down and then I'm going to use my length of 60 let's just extend that line so now what I can do is 
I will draw that 70 line right through like that I will draw my 60 length from top right down to bottom so in this space here I'm going to develop that front view so here that corner now is going to be this corner over here that corner is going to be that over there so I'm do these two parts we are 20 and 20 and 15 up so 15 up so I'm going to measure 15 up here and then I'm going to draw a line right through and then I'm going to measure from this side in 20 and I'm going to measure from that side in 20 like that what I'm going to do it's auction line at this stage I'm going to project it right up so that it goes into my top view later learners that is so I am going to draw a line here and a line there and I'm going to draw a line there and a line there I can however conclude that by drawing the side but it doesn't stop there because it continues this part now fits directly on top of that so in other words this dark line actually continues till there and this dark line actually continues till there I will have that top drawn dark there further back you will find that line is a continuation of this line here so I'm going to darken that line straight through and that top is a continuation of that line there and there I front view this and that being this and that this the back being that don't worry about lines these are all basic construction lines just to take the light away I can make sure that it's more clearer like that so that you can see where the dark lines are I'm going to continue with my top view so I'm going to basically draw all these sides that face my top view but what I need to get is this part here is going to be that part there and this back line I will have to find somewhere how do I find that? 35 from here and then 15 so let me do that 35 from this point here look here from where 35 from there back here's my 35 and then I'm going to add a 15 millimeters there now look what I'm going to do learners I am going to draw a line right till it gets to my 45 right till there and I don't need to draw that line because it's already there just keep in mind that we're working in this space only there okay can't do it. so that there is going to be at the back and I'm going to darken that clearly here's that one here's that line and then I will have this side here going like that and in so for that I need my set square down like that and have this line down like that there it is going to go in and in like that and there I have it, can you see how far it goes in then it goes inside here to form that little shape there and how much does it go? 20 so from the front there I'm going to measure it and what I'm going to do is just extend it right until it gets there and now I can actually darken that there and complete the side here and that side there which now includes my top view let's evaluate that being that part there this shape here facing the top which is that point there that's my top view I'm going to move that immediately over to my left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these points on my 45 here like that that one is there already down and I'm going to project it 
first one down second one down and that one down so that is what we're working in this space over here right so <coughs> when I look at this shape that I see it's an L shape I don't even need to measure you will find it will start here which is there till there and I'm going to darken that it's going to be from here till there then I'm going to go up you can't go higher than that because it lines up that I'm going to have a set square yeah, drawing that vertical line like that. then it's going to go in and down in that shape continue with that in until you get to that point how do I know that because it doesn't go lower than that that is my indicator I'm gonna have this side up till there and I'm gonna close this part in for my L shape that I have there the only addition to this left side view is that there is a corner here a line which I can't see it is this specific corner and it would have been right there if I could see it but I can't so what I'm going to do any corner that cannot be seen must be drawn as a dash line and that basically learners concludes my front view top view left side view converting it from 3D to 2D I have taken some of the lighting away so that you will be able to see clearly front view, the top view and the left view